but oh, I don't know. I, I feel like headphones definitely help in like a CFL setting. If you can't like, if you're not one of those people that's able to focus, and CFL is just so loud and stuff. Like I love it here, but for like in the middle of a match, it's easy to get distracted. Oh yeah, absolutely. People get loud. They get rowdy. It's fun. Uh, it's like we have a good time. It's a weekly, so you're allowed to have a good time. You know, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to wait too long to get your revenge if you do poorly. Uh, this so yeah, I've definitely heard it helps focus. Um, Dirty and talk about that a while ago. He's like, yeah, it's just like helps to focus a lot, which is good. All right, so we're going straight into it. Same start. We're watching basically a rematch, uh, a rerun of the last match. Let's see if the uh, outcome is the same or different. Ooh, catches him on the left platform, similar to the start of the last match. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's Mars bread and butter. Once right, you start yeah. that grab com, like grab into Marth combos, it's it's yeah. It's rough out for some foxes. All right. Ooh. Good tip, but great DI by Pinky. Oh, he definitely had the read there, but he just wasn't able to react fast enough. Didn't uh, turn around to that stage. All right. This is going to be rough. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I think that it's uh, going to be hard for Mark to kill off a of grab now. Yeah, he's going to have to go for a lot more 50-50s and sure combos. Yeah. Unless he can get uh, Pengy to miss his tag yeah. on the platform. Yep. Yeah. He popped his jump too early. Yeah. Not uh. quite as good. Very few people are as good as his father is at holding on to that jump. So, we're going to lose the stock here. Well, the thing about to, uh, today, actually, for FPL, is that if he scores a high enough score in the tournament today, he will outplace Keenan, putting him on the summer PR. And what in... We're in points now? Yeah, it's been points. Jeez, it's been a while since I paid attention to how PR was done. Wow, that sweet spot. Holy smokes. So if he places high enough, he'll be uh, 20th on the PR. FBI. Okay, nifty. Well, he's got, to, he's got to face this match first, regardless of how well he places. He's got to try to get his act together against Pengy. He's doing a fine job. Oh, this is, this is a rough spot for Fox to be in, but good DI. He was able to escape the yeah, platform. FDL gives him, oh, unfortunate ledge dash. Gives him a little bit of extra space, letting Peggy have more options to recover. No way to that corner. Whatever. Well, you know. Yeah, good follows. Kind of goes for a read there on that up air. It's nice to miss, uh, missing these dashes. Is there's some low fl Oh, no. All right, Frank. Don't get in your head, FDL. Don't get in your head. Hard body DI. Ooh. Another one? Yeah, oh. very good. He can still do this, though. If he can get this stock out quick before he gets at least above 80, like if he can get Yeah, as long as he still has crouch cancel access, like he'll still be in good shape. Yeah, great job. Caught Pengy running away. All right, get a couple grabs and Fox is dead. Yeah. Oh, this oh, is geez. rough. You can't miss the DI here. Down smash? Oh, okay, Ooh. Turn. Surprised he didn't go for bear. I think that would have killed at that percent. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, Frank's not happy about how he's doing right now. He's a, he's a very um he's a very passionate player when it comes to his tech skill and like you know how he plays the game. So when he starts making low flubs like that, he he, he gets tilted. It happens yeah. to everyone, so it's understandable. But he can easily come back from this. But let's talk about where they're gonna go. He's definitely gonna ban FD. So most likely we're either gonna go Pokemon or Fountain. There what is go. it with Fountain today? No one's supposed to pick Fountain. This stage is terrible. Ah. I love this stage. <laughs> this is one of my favorite stages, but this isn't a meta stage. I'm actually curious about this too, because like compared to something like Battlefield and Yoshi Story, which get the um, ooh, nice, so like like the nice platform heights for Marth. Like this one's a little bit more awkward. The platform plays a little bit weirder. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, I was gonna say. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the matchup goes like this. Uh, it it's Marth. It's Marth favored on when platforms are non-existent, like, you know, currently on the right side, and it's Fox favored when platforms are there. And, and I may be wrong, but I believe that's the last time I heard. Uh, I don't know if you have any intel. Oh, in this happened. particular stage, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not really sure. I feel like a lot of this stage in general is just kind of a comfort level uh, stage. Like, if you know what the platform heights mean and what you're supposed to do at different levels, they mean a lot more. This up air string. I yeah, it gets big damage. Yeah. Though it doesn't get the kill, which is important. I know a lot of Marths have mentioned it's like, dude, in this matchup, you just take your licks in neutral three or four times. Gotta eat your lumps. And then you just make sure your punishes are huge. Because um, Marth, Marth needs to win neutral slightly less frequently than Fox does. That was an interesting. Ooh, called him out. Saying, I know when yeah, a little bit of stress. It. You're gonna get out of this, or you're gonna be worried about Firefox damage, I guess. Oh, all right, we get the tip there. Nice. Just that DI is there. definitely a little questionable. And this is the uh, sweet spot but after this match. Oh, yeah. 
So slight difference there in uh, kind of the, the the last match where Father got that spike. Pengy went for a wall jump instead of a wall grab. Yeah. Kind of like being a slightly faster option to get out of the hitbox range. Like obviously not the exact same distances or not, but kind of like opting for a fast drop. Ooh, oh. great. Until, oh, that gets the tech. tech. Great. Uh, charges the ultimate force match a little too long. Oh. Get smashed. Yeah, that might have been dead at this stage. Oh, he would have been dead, 100%. He was so high up. Oof, cancels. Oh. <laughs> Goes for the double illusion. Waits. Gets his up smash. Ooh, nice fall off. Good drift. Uh, missed the run. Like, this match is just fun to watch. <laughs> Unfortunate, it's just really too far away. Maybe expected FDL to do a. Uh, any kind of movement. Oh wow, just goes, just goes for the invincible up smash. Must be nice. Well, FDL was in the middle of the stage. Jeez, that's so intense. Mark the up. FDL's gonna have to get the kill. Oh, yeah, right, there, there you go. go. All right. So no Marthitis. But it's definitely going to be oh, Peggy interesting. Just not even caring. Like a lot of players would be kind of nervous. Ah, uh, just get the turn around. That's unlucky. We'd be nervous on the ledge here. But Pengy just knowing if he rushes down Marth, like Marth plays with space. So if you give him any amount of time to set up that space, this match becomes so much harder. So FTL's done a good job, kind of like disrupting Pengy's crazy aggression and making use of the micro space that he's giving him. But Pengy is is not giving him the time or space to set anything up, and also missing that. Punishes like that are kind of unfortunate. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. Exactly how you lose this match. Yeah. Good wait. Up here. Oh, waits. I think smash he's at up. I'm pretty sure he's at up smash kill percent. He's dead. Yep. Fox dead. Just All randomly right. jumps into a forward smash. Game three. Loses the stock. Great read there by FDL. That was a hard read. Um. Yeah, I don't even know what else to say. That was a hard read. That was a tough one to. Yep. To expect. He went for it all. You know. Sometimes you don't want to fight for it. Bantry might go to Pokemon. This is what I expected in the last match, so it's a little odd that it didn't happen, but matters of preference. Yeah, I mean, it all depends on how you look at the sages and how you like them. It's just how much you like them. Most of uh, most of high level play just goes off of uh, like is common, you know, like what most people think about the sages come from high level play. But then there's people at this level, you know, at the medium high level that just like play in comfort. Like, uh, Armada often references how uh, it's not necessarily what character you're playing at this level, it's mostly like just getting good at that character. Okay. Like, it, your character doesn't matter so much as this level, is what he's basically saying. That was a sick follow by Pinky. Going kind of like back and forth on that wave shine. Alright, good shield drop. Gets the up smash after the weak back air, but great DI by uh, FDL not dying here. Gets his jump back? No. Peng has been playing really well on the platforms. Like, the worst place to be in this matchup as Fox is... Right in the middle, yeah. Yeah, above Marth at any time. And he's been getting out of these platforms really well. Oh, this is rough. This is probably uh, one of the worst places to be as Marth. Yeah. Gets out of it though, just lose a stock. Got that second least in the stock. Okay. Pengy kind of with some slide offs to prevent that combo from being any messier than it already was. Yep. This is the hard part for Marth. Like. Alright, that's what he was going for last time. So he kind of crouched underneath the platform like he did on uh, Found of Dreams last time, but he was able to get the dash this time when FDL rolled away. Yeah. So good mm. setup there by Pengy, knowing. Match is looking pretty rough, but if he. Oh no. Good this good. combo's starting. Alright, there's the 50 damage that uh, Fox is practically guaranteed in this matchup. <laughs> Let's see what FDL can do to counter or if Fengi can finish the stock. Alright, right, gets up there, that's enough. Alright. Well played by FDL, but uh, sterling finish there by Pengi. Uh That was very systematic. I don't know, that was the Pengi that we're used to. <laughs> kind of. FDL did what he could. But, uh, you know, couldn't clutch it out. He uh, lost neutral a little bit there near the end, and it just really came through he, him in those combos. That punish was crazy, but thank Yeah, you. so uh, in, in the previous matches, I feel like FDL was getting bigger punishes and getting a lot more out of the, the neutral wins that he was getting. Mm -hmm. And this time, he wasn't quite getting as much. He was getting like getting stray hits and crouch-canceled hits that didn't lead to anything. And, and in a matchup like